Here we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you that uh, you have brought us together again to sit under the counsel of your word. We thank you that this day is not a wasted day. This night is not even wasted because a time spent in your courts is better than a thousand. A day spent in your courts is better than a thousand. Minutes, hours spent in your presence can fast track our breakthrough, can fast track our miracle, can fast track our healing, healing can fast track everything and anything that we desire to see manifested in our life in your name in your character in your anoma and by power and by fire we thank you that your word will settle in our heart and your word that is settled in our heart is time that we walk talk and be the word to see its manifestation in our life that if people can't believe the words that we speak they can see the works and they can believe in you and they can believe that you are God and you are the supreme one that lives forever and ever and that you dwell in us. You do not dwell somewhere else, but you dwell in us. We are your temple and we are the embodiment of the Godhead. If, if, if the fullness of the Godhead can dwell in Christ Jesus, when God the Son became flesh and dwell among men, we thank you that your fullness dwells in us because the same spirit that has raised him up, raised us also up. And may us sit with you in the heavenly places. So, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you reside in us and we in you. We are consciously aware of that. It's part of our epigenosis. We have been shifted from just having a revelation knowledge of you living in us and we in you to knowing that you reside in us. And it's part of our epigenosis. My brother, thank you. Part plus save plus save plus save plus save plus save plus me player. And also, mi plus sabe, also mi plus man, na mi plus Mary, and mi plus sabe too, also you stop in shallow mi plus, na mi plus stop in shallow. Mi plus talk thank you, na mi plus give over the glory, praise, na honor. Na make him still pray alone him to Jesus. Na you may over the God, man, you may our mass, wonder what time you will sing out the talk. Amen. Praise the Lord. One more time, you may our mass sing out the talk. Thank you. Amen. This is powerful. Praise God. Thank you. You may be seated. You may sit on your enemy's head, but don't keep your mouth shut. Because we need your mouth to say hallelujah, praise the Lord, amen. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. May I just emphasize again, Lord, Genesis chapter 2, verse 19. Aram Good and Wampla, a powerful biblical principle. Uh, you will never go wrong. You will not go wrong. God never lies. He is not a man that he will lie. Not even a son of man that ever sent his mind blame. God never changes his mind. So, married him can you play any we good? And to call him and out of the ground, out of the what? Ground. So you may have him Oh, head, 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 hear the voice of the Lord. So it has to be out of the ground. The head will meet that which you are. Or you must name. Yes. Now out of the ground, the Lord God what formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam. So time to every beast of the field and every fowl of the air. What comes to your mind? <laughs> to me, what comes to my mind is that that's the very area of dominion that God gave to us in Genesis 1 verse 26. That may make him man to let them have dominion over the birds of the air, or the fowls of the air, the, the uh, fish of the sea, and everything that walks and creeps and breeds on earth. Everything that God gave us dominion over here, and God can him come before a man now. God will not bring something that God does not give you dominion over. You understand? Anything and everything that God brings before you, you must know that you already have dominion over it before God brings it to you. Amen. If God brings a business idea, you must know that you already have dominion over it. Because that's the name thereof. Uh, you like to. If God bring him on the thing thing or make him on the walk, you must have him. This is walk here. And um, you have already, in the realms of the spirit, dominion was already given to you. It, was, it has been predestined. Destiny has already been set. You, are you with me? 
Em something ya now mi plan Nelson won't go about them. Em no something to say about them. Me me say once and those who have ears let them hear. Or some revelation to God. Those who have ears let them hear. Those who have eyes let them see. So you think him also em talk out of the ground. So you must prophesy to the earth. The earth will vomit your blessings. Now if it is out of the ground, we also came from the ground. And then time em talk also and the Lord brought Lord God brought or formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam. That means Adam already had dominion over those things. Dominion was given to them. Now what's the missing link? The missing link is that you have dominion to speak. You understand? You have dominion to name your miracle. You have dominion to name your breakthrough. You have dominion to name that which you want to manifest in your life. You understand? If you don't name it, the devil will give you a false name. And you will give a false name. And that falsified document will definitely manifest. For instance, if you didn't say that you are rich, Satan Bakan Tokosem, Tokosem, you are poor. Now that's a false document. And Sabi Osem, you have the ability to name. You look at that. So anything you name, that's the name thereof. So before you Sabi, now you name him, and Bakam, you seem the same power. Now, but many manipulating the power law on. Or a success blame. Now I'm about putting negative blame. Go say that you name him negative now. If that's the name thereof. Is it Mister? Lo lo lo. Side lo Satan. Side lo go to. That's the name thereof. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to Emba come lo on him. Emba fake him something. You Mister? Now. And brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. You see? Adam looked at him, Adam looked at him now, but asked him, God, God, what name is this? God, name is this one name. God, you talk to me, I don't know what name is this one name. I don't know what name is this one name. No, no, no. You missed that one. He's waiting for you to name it. Not for you to ask God again. And talk to me, wait, will be God. You missed that one. You see, there is no such thing as you wait for the will of God so that you can name it. No, God has already given us His power, His dominion. In the dominion, there is a will, there is an intention for men to function as God on earth. You missed that. And will in past minister God and Tariman, Genesis 2 verse 7, how will you eat in the will like you eat can? Hey, God and Tariman, and will be God here. Lo man lo fanche no sem God lo grau ni. So for Adam to see what he would call them, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So as the old man talk to me lo on the prayer request, let me talk right now. Angels are arresting this person. Today, make sure report also it happened yesterday night. Not this morning. You missed that one. Things happened yesterday. So, plenty of testimony. Some people are planning on to talk about. Some people, you plan to arrive and talk about. You missed that one. So you see, you name it. Whatever you name, that's the name thereof. And something not finished. You don't need to think about them. Ah, God, this never come up. You missed that one. You don't need to ask him, God, or say, God, this time, I'm true to you, but come up. True, true, God, I'm you talk, or me talk, but come up. God, I'm emotional. No, no, you don't need to ask that. Those spirits are over. Those seasons are over. You no longer live in those dimensions. The word of God comes to shift you to the God man dimension. Dimension where you operate as gods. Small gods on earth. Do you understand, man? So you think him can also? One of something you think him will manifest him. You think him will make him your life here. Destiny blow you here. Ephesians one is photo one him. Before he laid the foundations of the earth, he has predestined us to be 
old and blameless. So your destiny and my destiny has been predestined before God spoke death into manifestation. Huh? Yes. You just think, even the ground can't be in it. Hello? All come behind. God set your destiny and my destiny first. Isaiah 46, verse 10, Emptor calls him, He began us with the end from the beginning. So before beginning began, God began us. <laughs> he began us with the end from the beginning. So finish, leave me a good looking law before beginning began. Because he was before the beginning. And said that. Then he entered the beginning. And heaven and earth came about. You probably believe me. So before God entered the beginning. And there was a beginning. God was thinking of you and me. Our destiny was has been predestined. If you since him talk. Yeah? Before he laid the foundations of the earth. That means the foundations of the earth. Were the beginning. So before the beginning. God thought of you and me. Your destiny was already been set. My destiny was already been set. You like I'm a doctor or pilot or accountant or economist or businessman or business manager. How you like come up here? Adam, what is something you think the world but I'm a guarantee you or I'm a game criteria or you meet him like come up here? Forget it. Before the world set is, sets its criteria, God has already predestined his criteria for your life. You understand? People of anywhere. Yes. You see, successful people today, they don't need a degree to become successful. To me, what the old man got a degree anything. Now, me asking me to say, God, what made them different from me? They look at So, what's the difference between you and them and me? It's the way we think. So, if we can think that that which you want, you are thinking right now. God thought it before you think it. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Think, think now you think him. Yeah. God think him finish before you think him. Let me think him. This time put him in me out of place now. Lord think to level the human being. Now let's think God way now. Something you think him will walk him like me. Whether I'm big or little or big or small or one again size here. Yeah. God think him finish before you not me think him. Now suppose God think him finish. Emerson, before he laid the foundations of the earth, he was thinking of it. Before he entered the beginning and before there was a beginning, he has predestined our destiny. So your destiny and my destiny has been already been named Ted. And God put us into destiny. Not for destiny to suppress us and depress us. No. He's waiting for us to call the destiny into manifestation. You must have that. So you name your destiny. You name what you want to become. How much you want to achieve in life. Name it. You miss that? Look and look, 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 qualifications for you. Look and look, look, look. You got some you don't got some. Look and look, 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 you got resource or no got resource. No. Arem, Arem can. Arem, Arem good. God in the look, 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 resource, look, ground, and then name him destiny for you. If that thing, even the ground, you know, stop. And he has predestined us. Oh, thank you. Hey. So, Mito goes him, the cosmic powers are waiting for you and me. When you speak, they have no choice but to organize themselves to manifest your miracle. If that's just thing, Moshem, now, Lord Jeremiah, I'm talking, you prophesy to the earth. Oh, earth, 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 hear the voice of the Lord. It's good, God, God will not speak to the earth. Look at us. Where is the Lord? He is in us. So when you speak, you are the Lord speaking. Amen. The Lord is speaking through us. Psalms 103 verse 20 to one. They hearken unto the voice of the Lord and do his commands. So where is the voice of the Lord coming from? From you and me. So how about I am voice no God? Put him talk contact, Pastor. Put him talk contact. So when you speak, hey, God is speaking. God is speaking. Listen to this God man. Listen to this God man. Oi, God is speaking. Angels have been already been programmed to summon at the sound of the word of God. Utter through your mouth and my mouth. You missed that one. Yes. 
and you try it. Me talk here. You make it be gone and you start with that dimension. Blood talk, he come here. You just relax now, you speak. You, you, no, would you think of some little lotto premier? Wealthy, no, sabe. No, they are monitoring us. Amen. Prophets from overseas are monitoring us. All, all one of them be making a post, they are, moni they are seeing it. They are monitoring us. You must have yes. So, you see, your, your coming to fellowship is not, I'm not something where some wealthy, you no, know, recognize him, God, you no, know, recognize him, no. God recognize him that you stand. So if 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 it is the name thereof, you will stop. You can make him um, you go bump, you come, you make him, you go bump, you come, you make him, you bump. You you can fail nine hundred and ninety-nine times, I don't care. You will stop. Try it again, I tell you. And you name it again. This time with the revelation of the word of God, the cosmic powers, the cosmos, the world. Cosmos is wealth. The world has no choice but to work in your favor. Because now when you speak, and when you name it with the revelation in you, knowing that that which you name is the name thereof, and creation, they are earnestly waiting for the manifestation of the sons. And when you speak, they know it's a son speaking. It's a son speaking, so when it's a son speaking, they have no choice but to work according to what you speak. Adam, Jesus is not a religious man. You are not a religious man. I am not a religious man. No time for you to sit down and Jenny flag and put some candle. No, whether you sit down or you sleep or you stand or you fly or you float or <laughs> you speak, heaven will move according to your voice. Me talking, I decree, heaven will move according to your voice. You walk with this mystery. And heaven will move at the sound of your voice. You must have yes. yeah. So you name your miracle. You name that which you want. Amen. Huh? Amen. You ready to name it? Yes. Yes. Name it. Thank you. Name it as crazy as you are. Uh. Yeah. Adam, no care attitude and you start to develop him. I don't care what the world says about me. I don't care what people say about me. I don't care what Arab other believers think about me. As long as I know that God lives in me and I in him, that's all I care about. And if I know that the thoughts that I'm thinking, God thought it before I think it, that's all I care about. I don't care what the world thinks about. If I say I am a millionaire, I don't care what the world thinks about. Because what I am saying and I am thinking, God thought it before I think it. You look at me. And what I am thinking and I am saying, God saw the end and he began me with the end from the beginning. And what I am thinking and I am speaking, I am good. God predestined it before he laid the foundations of the earth. And strata. You can look here. Now Ephesians 1 verse 3, he has blessed me. So all those blessings here, they are waiting for you to name them. Why they are not manifesting? Because we are not naming them. Now you may go give opposite name. Mr. Stragole, my book man. Hade, what means capital law? But me kiss him resource low. But me kiss him, kiss him, kiss him this No, no, you don't need. You just need to get the word of God and start to name things. You miss that, bro. Me to talk, me feel strong with the talk. You just think it's all some blah. Some blah man, see now, now I don't talk. I'm out of the talk. I'm finished. When I say that, me need me, I'm finished. Mix him finish. Me stop finish. Me go finish. You look at me. Hey, look at him. You, you don't need you don't need a one hour sermon to transform you. You don't need a one hour sermon or two hour sermon or a, a thirty minutes worship and praise to psych you up. No, no, no. The word is sufficient to transform you. Can it copy a talk or one word one word from God is enough to change your world around? So you just think, what is that one word? Name it. Name your miracle. Name your blessings, name your breakthrough, name your destiny. Name him. What is something you like? Come up, let me name him. Lost in your background, play you. Lost in your whether you have the financial cap capacity to do it or not. Forget it. You speak it, it will come. God give you an idea, you work it, it will materialize. It will manifest. Definitely, it will manifest. Me talking.
it shall manifest in yes, Jesus' name. Amen. You name it, it shall happen. Amen. 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 Come up. You talk to God. God. We don't care. You come up. We don't come up. I'm same blow you. You know, same blow me. Because you know, talk to me. You know, talk to me. You talk. And you will talk. You brought it before them. So if I am thinking about, if I saw a car, and I thought, I am me driving like a car, but all right, you must have God brought it before you. Oh, yes. <laughs> if like Shema. <laughs> if, you <Hey>. see, <laughs> if you see something, and it's a desire that you want to manifest it or own it, you must know that God brought it before you. Just like God brought the animals before them to name it. Amen. Are you glad, Emma? Yeah. <laughs> hey! hey! You just think of them, God brought it before you. You can just think of it. You just think of it, you talk to God. God, you're wrong now, you bring it up before me. Are you right? Because you saw some, I must name that miracle. Amen. Whatever you desire. No, no, no. I'm talking to you before, I erase it. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. I'm finished with that. If you see it, whether I'm physically up here or you dream on, or you see now on the image and pop up to you, you must talk to them. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing it before me. <laughs> just, just the way you brought it before Adam, now you are bringing it before yes. me. And I thank you that I am naming it now. And time you start to name him, no can give up. You name it and thank God that you name it till it happens. No can name him planting. You stick to one plant and manifest. Now time God talk, that's the name thereof. Okay, you call on our Amen. Amen. You name it till God says that's the name thereof. Amen. Amen. Name him. I don't care. Me, not me to care. Me, I don't care about anybody. I care about the word of God. I name it till it manifests. I don't care whether you have a theology degree or master's or PhD. But what the Lord tells me from His Word, um, yes and amen. amen. He never lies, He never changes His mind. You name it, it will definitely manifest. Amen. amen. So I am naming my miracle. Naming my I am naming my blessings. I am naming my, I am naming my breakthrough. I am naming, I am naming my financial breakthrough. I am naming my, I am naming my destiny. I am naming my, I am naming my purpose. I am naming my it's, been it's been preordained and predestined. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You pray down to Jesus. We make all the thank you prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we raise up our hands, whatever that is bothering us, the image that is in our mind right now, as we name them consistently, knowing that you are in us and we are in you, and we know it, I thank you for the manifestation of it. You are not the man that you will lie, nor the son of man that you have changed. You will change your mind. No. Whatever you say so, it happens. May talk thank you also. What is something will begin in the Hollywood of Bell stuff? Whether now they, or they are present here or they are present online or watching this video, ever where they are, whether it's a week or a day or a month or a year after today, I thank you that your grace is sufficient. The anointing is present, it's captured life. And may the power of the word, by fire and by power, manifest that which they desire. Materialize it as they begin to name it. Yes, may it take shape, size, and form with God's supernatural spirit and become solid in the natural environment as you spoke. That's the name thereof. I thank you that that's the name thereof. That miracle, that healing, that increase, that abundant lifestyle, that healthy lifestyle, that sound mind, wisdom, that knowledge lifestyle is the name thereof. And made manifest with God's supernatural spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we sanction it and seal and soak with, with the blood of Jesus. And stamp with the seal of the Holy Spirit. And all the God men agree with me and let's shout and say, Amen. Amen. One more time, you're missing out the talk. Thank you. Praise the Lord.